Yeah, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Kale So Frosty. I'm here in the building with my boy Flight School Pre. And who we got in the building today, man? Yeah, your boy Krill Gates. Home. Oh, okay. Trying to set the record straight. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, what's good, man? So Krill Gates, man, tell us, man, exactly where you from, man? From Vanderbilt, Flatbush. Okay, Vanderbilt okay. Projects. All right, all right, all right. How, how was it like growing up out there? I mean, you know, I said the jungle, man. Mm -hmm. I said, Around what, years was that? I, I, around what years was that? I was actually born in bed and then my mom's bounced from bed. Oh, okay, okay. And I was gone from bed for a few years, then we had to back up in bed. Oh, okay, so okay. From, you would say from, from 10 to the age I'm at now. Okay. You, you had moved out of Brooklyn or you was just. Nah, uh, just we wasn't in this. Uh, when I was coming up, there was a war zone. Yeah. I'm talking about that real. Like, around what year was that? I was a baby when that shit, that American and Chinese slash Western war was going okay, on. Okay, okay. So yeah. Back then, we elementary kids and all that. So when your mom's told you come inside when the street lights come on, that shit was yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> your ass upstairs. All right, know? all right, all right. It was dumb times. Yeah, yeah. Um, Caribbean background. Yeah, my family Guyanese. All right. oh, okay, okay, okay. So how how was like um like how was like I know um growing up out there like you was like involved in the gang like how was like the gang like growing up in Vanderveer like around what years was that? I mean, in the beginning. Before I was banging, there was actually blooded out. Mm -hmm. There had wild bloods in it. And shit started shifting when Ace popped up in the hood. Ace and Biz and a okay. lot of homeboys. Okay. Family, but I mean, Biz really gave it a paint job, but it was predominantly blood at one time. It was a lot of bloods in there. All right. You feel me? And then shit changed like around 98. Shit started, you know? You, uh -huh. you never fucked with them, though. I, nah, I fucked with them heavy, but yeah. it was just that. Me and my media circle, we came up playing ball. Yeah. So a lot of the gangsters didn't even want us to shift that yeah. way. You feel me? Because niggas was dumb nice. All of us played high school ball, or whatever. But you know, streets always held my attention. Uh -huh. So after a while, it was after they got a serious paint job and a little issues having. God bless the dead snag. God uh -huh. bless the dead local poker. You know, that was Biz cousin. Uh huh. And shit shifted then, and mm. it was predominantly, you know, by then we on now. Mm, you know, uh, they had to go up top and do a bid. Okay. So they transitioned to us. You feel me? Uh, as the young boys. Yeah. All right, all right. More so now, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Uh -huh. When it shifted to us, see, it didn't, it, who you know me as, it didn't automatically land in my direction. Uh -huh. A couple people passed away, a couple people went to the can, and I just stepped up, and the rest was history. You feel me? Facts. Mm. All right, so um, how is gang banging like? Do you think like compared to yet um to those times you growing up to compare to today? I don't know what the fuck going on out here nowadays. Okay, it's, like, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker standing across the street, every people out, don't care if it's an old woman, kids, whoever. It wasn't like that when we was coming up. Had okay. more morals. Yeah, niggas was putting on. Niggas yeah. pushed the line on who they was pushing the line on. Facts. You know? It wasn't no reckless shit. Yeah, it wasn't more reckless, and it was more. It was more unity. It was a lot more loyalty back then. In the oh. beginning stages of it, like they could say, like the first ten years of it, uh -huh. it was what it was supposed to be. Okay, you know? okay. So, um, like, what, like I know you started rapping. Like, what influenced you to start rapping? Like, well, influenced my brother used to rap. My brother was rapping before me. Okay. So it was one day in ninety. Seven or ninety eight. Mm -hmm. So they used to always have this annual Father's Day barbecue in our courtyard in Vere. Like Van Der broke it up into different courtyards. I'm from Sunshine. Okay. You feel me? So they would have an annual Father's Day barbecue. They would also bring a set out. And dudes is going to end up rapping. Uh -huh. So it wasn't until like one day my brother was rapping. So when I heard my brother spit, I was like, oh shit. I'm like, mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. You could do yeah. this shit too. Yeah, but I was doing it sneakily. I didn't want yeah. nobody to know I was doing it. So I would do it in my room. I would do it in myself. See, I used to play around rapping, and then I used to be mocking the Jamaicans and doing fake chat and yeah. all that uh -huh. shit. So, you know, the homies used to be laughing at that shit and all that shit, but then that's where it really started. Okay, like, okay, okay. Right, you know, Stretch Armstrong coming on Tuesday night at midnight. All right. Like, let's go catch the shit like Dutch and Speed and Cam and this and that. It was like, yeah. Let's all right. So I know um, back in those days, you, you ended up doing the bed at those times. How was that like? I did the... Back then, the first one, the first one I only did, or the first bit I did 18 months. Okay, okay. All right, all right. You know, and it was what it was. You know, That's before the gun laws was actually what it is yeah. today. Yeah, I actually was about to go to trial on it, and then my uh, yeah. lawyer had told me, I had Goldberg at the time. Goldberg told me, it's like, it was like eight cops going to testify, yeah. and they watched you do what you did. Mm -hmm. And then 
right before that, my son Juni just took a bed. So mm -hmm. I'm chopping it up with him one day. He's like, yo, you know, you can tell your lawyer what you want to do. He'll go get you this time. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, man, I'm about to tell this nigga I take a bullet right now. Mm -hmm. So when they already offered me that, so when they offered me, he went back. They shot that shit down like nah. And then mm -hmm. he came back. And I'm like, all right, let's go. So you know, mm -hmm. when I've been, the main focus was to be the nigga you say you with. Yeah. So how was like game banging like in you up top at those years? It was heavy. It was heavy. By that time, the first bit you was you turned already was low. That's a fact. All right. Yeah, heavy. So it was it was it was, it was wild out in there for low. Oh, yeah, definitely. Those years. Yeah, that was still the transition that was where a lot of niggas wasn't even claiming. Okay. A lot of dudes that was that be a lot of dudes be talking like they was claiming up top, and niggas wasn't claiming. Okay. That's a fact. Niggas wasn't claiming. Like, yeah. It was. Yo, to keep it a buck with you. I ain't have real issues with bloods up top. Mm. That before a lot I had up top was with them Germans. Oh, okay. And that's you know the Spanish I mean? people. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, my issues was with them. Anything I really got into, Facts. I got into with them. Like the the red rags, they respected it. Okay, you know? okay, okay. They, they respected it. They, 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 they did the same shit they do to other people who they view as a threat. Mm -hmm. They're you know, they're respected, but niggas are still plot behind your back to get you shot. Yeah, fact. You feel me? So but you know, I went through that unscathed. Uh Pushed the line A spot I dived into. It was just that's what it was. All right, fast forward. You I came said, back home. So basically, when you with, with your music, you would say like like your whole lifestyle influenced your music. Yeah, that's a fact. I was trying to use what I had to my advantage when I first started rapping. Mm -hmm. So when I dropped, I dropped some real rugged mixtapes. I'm talking about. I pressed up music on a CD that still had the CD right in yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Put a picture of myself on yeah. nothing, but I had a, I had a. A cover for this shit. Yeah, okay. facts. The tape was called On the Child, Volume 1. So I pushed that. And the response I got from it, I didn't expect that shit. See, I used Krill Gates as my rap name because I pushed the line so hard as Bonton. That's yeah. what I'm known as or BT in the gang world. I pushed the line so hard on that. I didn't want these to hear my music. And automatically. And automatically yeah. hate on the shit because it's my music. Mm -hmm. So the responses I get from people when I watch them hear my music, I see somebody... Yo, who that? Niggas be like, yo, Phil Gaze. Nigga like, nah, son, like that. Nigga be like, nah, that's cuz. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You already yeah. gave your unbiased yeah, yeah. opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of it. So then I was like, all right, I'm going to stick with the Phil Gates shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Phil Gates really came from when I was in the hood hustler. Okay, okay, okay. Like, I, um, I know, so when you came back home, you really got on your rap shit. You was running around with um, Wank for a little bit, right? Now, that came later. When I came home from the state, I was home for a couple of months. Mm-hmm. And then the feds grabbed me on my first fed bit. Oh, okay, okay. So you got you got caught up again for that, John. The state bit I did for a pistol, and I did a fed bit after for that some other for shit. Some other pistol. Okay, 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 okay. Like, you feel me, sir? All right. So it's after you came home, you really got on yeah, your. Yeah, after I came home with the second fed bit. <clears throat> uh huh. When I came home, Wink was home. Okay, okay. You know, it was a lot of shit going on with Wink and my turf and. My homeboy and waking them, so mm -hmm. it was a lot of tension. So when I came home, you know, it could have went totally left. Mm -hmm. But I embraced boy, mm -hmm. like, you feel me, and you know, and I kept the wolves off his ass. Okay. <laughs> so um, basically, I got <laughs> my fault for laughing. I'm, like I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Homie. No, because when I looked at it, I always see like as a team. So you know, you never really know the inner in the work is a certain I'm, things. I'm gonna keep it a thousand with you, just so. Cause I ain't gonna sit here and pull no chuck. Yeah. I went to school with Wink. Okay. Me and Wink went to E Hall together. Yeah. I'm talking about like sitting right next to each other in art class and all that shit. Okay, okay. Cause that's what I'm saying. When when we seeing y'all basically looking from the outside, we always looked at y'all the team. I didn't know like there was any like nah, that certain was, situations. That was, we was fun with each other. I was that was fan. Okay. Like, God bless the dead Miss Nala. Okay. You know, so that was people's. Like we had a relationship before the music shit. Mm -hmm. like, but he went away, I think, for like a robbery or something, mm -hmm. and then. I was catching back to back bids and shit. All right. So when y'all was pushing the music, John, y'all was kind of moving. Like, um, what what kind of like stopped the whole pushing that y'all was doing? Was it you getting locked up again or? Nah. When when me and Wink was moving around each other with the music, mm -hmm. see, Wink had a situation going on with Jeezy. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Can't really tell you how he was introduced to Jeezy or whatever, but mm -hmm. he started moving around with Jeezy. Mm -hmm. So at that time. The Stone Homeboys had, I think, Get Straight Entertainment or Get Straight Cash Entertainment. Mm -hmm. So they was put Richie P and and there's a few artists they had over there. Mm -hmm. And Wink came home around that time. Okay. So when he came home, it was still a lot of shit with Wink that he did before he went away. 
and a lot of lip boxing he did that people still felt the way about. Okay. Like, you feel me? So, there's a basketball tournament in Crown Heights in Wingate Park called Dunkers Delight. Okay. So, Flip from Get Straight hit me up. So, I don't know where he had this. He got this shit that me and Wink had an issue with each other. Mm-hmm. So, he's like, yo, I'm trying to dead this shit with you. And I'm like, I ain't know me and son had an issue. Mm-hmm. I was like, instead of you dead in it, send me his phone number. I call him myself. Mm-hmm. So he sent me his phone number and I called him and they spoke and it ain't go nowhere. But he's like, nah, you know, niggas be saying whatever. whatever. Niggas got past it because mm-hmm. it wasn't nothing. Then we started moving around each other. Okay, okay. The music. So we started pushing that line, pushing it. But I really didn't start. I ain't. I wasn't feeling what I was starting to see. Like, okay. feel me? Because it'd be. Wink was tolerating a lot of disrespect. Mm-hmm. A lot of niggas was on his heels and. His actions and what he was talking wasn't adding up to me. Mm-hmm. But it is what it is. As long as that shit didn't go. But you don't feel like maybe that because he probably like because he probably had such a a, a, a I guess like a big name at that time. It's kind of hard for him to probably move the party way he probably wanted to move. Yeah, but if that's the case, don't don't push a line verbally. Like it's going okay. somewhere. All right, you all know right. What I'm saying because it'd be like I think him and um the main thing I knew about was him and Grant. Mm-hmm. They had a little issue. I don't know what it started over. Okay. But it was confusing me because I've seen those dudes in the same places when the so-called issue was going on. Yeah, okay, so I okay. never understood it. That's All what right. led to me doing an interview with uh, this dude, Crave. He got shit called Crave TV. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So, oh, my bad. I don't know if y'all want to get mad. Yeah, yeah, it don't matter. So, um, but they was, they wanted me, Crave wanted me to do an interview. Mm-hmm. Crave was also amping this shit. Mm-hmm. That's what he was doing. I guess the launch, he get his shit off the ground. Okay. He was doing the straddling the fence. He'll go over here, he'll go over there. Mm-hmm. So, what really made me fall back. We went to a K Slay event one night. Everybody there. Yeah, Mike Sean. Hey, like, niggas, it's deep. But mm-hmm. real, you could say the underground circuit. It was heavy. Yeah. Me, Wink, and Wink Mans is walking in. Grand and his peoples is walking out. Uh-huh. So. Me and Grant see each other. Mm-hmm. He don't say nothing. Grant walks around the crowd and then hits the street mm-hmm. and starts disrespecting, winking away. Where I was like, "Yo!" So now I'm getting tired mm-hmm. because this nigga's with me. Yeah, like, you feel me? So Wink like, "Yo, come back in the club." Then he's like, "Nigga, fuck the club. Like, we we just came from in there." I'm talking about calling Wink all type of bitches, all this shit. That's mm-hmm. right there in front of the spot. Mm-hmm. So I'm getting tight now, pulling Wink on. Like, nah, nigga, we ain't going in. Mm-hmm. Let's go this way. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. nothing happened from that. We end up inside the club. So me and Wink Mans that he was with, we both tired. We talking yeah. amongst ourselves like, yo, the fuck? Nigga Wild. Yeah, yeah, he was super disrespectful to Wink. Super disrespectful. But that wasn't his first time being disrespectful to something. So after that, I'm start hearing shit in the street about Brad Pressed, Wink and BT, and they got it on video and this and that. So I'm like, put the video out, nigga. Because mm. none of what you said happened. Yeah. I was like, and on top of that, I dare you to put the video out. If, if you claim you got something that remotely look close to that, mm. do it. And nothing against Boy, because I actually, me and Boy got past that. Mm. Man, like, we spoke after that, this and that. And I told him why I did what I did and why I felt the way I felt. Because Boy had talent. He was rapping. Like, he had a freestyle on that Ace Hood shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same old shit. Yeah. And I felt like he bodied that shit. Yeah. Mm. So I'm thinking in an aspect like, nigga. You know, you got something. Fuck with this nigga doing. Why you keep focusing on him? So mm-hmm. when it kept, I'm moving around with this nigga. So now sometimes you got to defend niggas you moving yeah. around with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's going to reflect on you and shit. Silence is acceptance. Facts. Mm. If somebody motherfucking sit there and start dirty macking you to Frosty and Frosty don't say nothing, K.O. Okay, don't say nothing about it, he co-signing that shit. Facts. That's how I look at it. Now that's, that's a fact, though. Yeah, you co-signing it because you ain't say... Your homie, you know what? Let me move. He ain't supposed to be car. able to this come to you and talk to you yeah, about your man's and shit. Know what I mean? So after that, niggas was chopping it up. Mind you, we still moving around, but at these times, I'm doing wild shows in the city. Mm. I'm slowly putting VMG together. Yeah. So Biz not even home yet. So I'm moving around, grabbing artists, and really starting to put this shit together. So a lot of niggas didn't even know I was doing these shows. Mm-hmm. So my little man, Mac, this nigga's like, I like, I met him through a producer named Fax. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But I took a liking to the little dude because he was grinding, yeah. he was hustling. This little nigga, 
a throwing event. He'll DJ. He'll he got a studio in his crib. He'll play the boards for you. He and I'm like, bro, all right. So he was grinding. Next year, you know, I'm putting it together. I'm putting it together. We ain't still. You know, he was doing what he was supposed to be doing at that time as far as using the CTE name to... You get where you got to go. Yeah, but do something with it. Don't just... Because at the end of the day, to everybody saying, Yo, you know, boy, fuck with Jeezy, that shit going to die out eventually. Especially mm -hmm. if... If they don't see no more uh, action. Yeah, you ain't putting no tracks out with boy. One finally came out, but... You know me, I don't I don't like lap dancing niggas. Mm -hmm. I don't lap dance niggas. I ain't coming to the club with you because you be busting it up every night. I'm going to stand there holding your bottles, this and that. And that's not me hating. Mm -hmm. That's just not me. That's me not being comfortable being a bottom feeder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? That's just, I'm not cool with that shit. I got my own money. I do my own thing. Mm -hmm. I can fuck you. But people start taking these club personas. Let me not say the person. The people around people. Mm -hmm. Hey, bust it up in two, three parties. Nah, he the big homie. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I see where you're coming from. It's like, yo, and it's like, yo, it's too much. That's why I stopped partying. Okay. Going to the club, dudes are standing on this side. Dude, niggas ain't even dancing with bitches no more. Niggas ain't talking to bitches. Niggas is just mm. watching with each other. Yeah, man. having an on contest with each yeah, other. Yeah, so I just fell back from all that shit, but fast forward. Hey, y'all just started so, pushing yeah. the VMG drum. Yeah, I... Wink had an issue with a nigga I was grooming to be my manager. Okay. He actually was playing the role of manager with Wink first. Okay. But they had a lot of behind the scenes shit going on that a lot of people didn't know about. Uh -huh. uh, money shit and this and that. And I know illegal shit, just funny style Ponzi scheme type shit. Mm -hmm. So when I started getting around other people, the 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 tax stones and the Vox and the Push Montanas and this and that, mm -hmm. I'm hearing a lot of shit. While I'm around these dudes, mm -hmm. you feel me? So I'm catching wind of a lot of shit that I ain't know between those two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, boy is moving around heavy with me. Mm -hmm. Wink is feeling a way about that, but I'm really not. He never verbalized that to me. He never said it to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm running around pushing a line now. I'm, I'm trying to bring VMG to be a functioning label. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So we pushing a line. Now I'm not focusing on what you're doing. I went to a show with Wink mm -hmm. one time. And it was the last show I went to with Wayne. Mm. You know, we went and he ain't really had no hype, man. So I was like, yo, cuz, I come up there and fuck with you. I, I come up there. And... Mm. I barely know the words to your shit. Mm. But he don't know none of the words to his shit. No, okay. crazy. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling like, I, I'm like, yo, we was at that paper box shit in Williamsburg. So I'm like, yo, I felt like we looked stupid on the stage. Mm. More so you than me, because these are your songs. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. all right, that'll never happen again, whatever. Now I'm just focused on VMG. But mind you, I'm not telling nobody I'm... Focus on, everybody can see I'm focusing on VMG, but if a nigga hit me up, yo, what's good with Wink? Yo, he good. Mm -hmm. He chilling. Yo, listen, my fault. Let me, let's move this chair. Get, get on this chair, because this chair keeps squeaking. This shit fucking my uh -huh. head out, sir. What's that? No, get on that, the squeaking of this oh, chair. Oh, shit, my bad. Yeah. This shit, shit kind of low. Good, right? That's why I took this one. Nah, nah, we good, we good. Yeah. That shit keep going there. <laughs> you be hearing shit. Yeah, nigga, I'm hearing that, that shit. We talking, nah, talking, talk, talking like, what the fuck? You edit yeah. that shit, that's why. Yeah, but, um, yeah, so, um, Boom. Fast forward from that type type of joint. So um, so that's why I basically started pushing the VMG joint. Whatever. What I mean, I was pushing VMG because I always had intentions of starting my own label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I me. Mean? So I'm a hustler. It don't matter what it is, I can hustle it. So mm. why I can't hustle music? Okay, okay. So I'm pushing the line. Then I they had this young spitter named Don Gang. Mm -hmm. I met him through the producer, Fat mm -hmm. from Brooklyn. Yeah, from mm -hmm. over there from Flatbush, yeah. over there on Woodruff side. Mm -hmm. So. I really met facts at the G Malone video shoot on Two First and Church. Yeah. Uh, the East Side and video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after that, I mean, facts supposed to get up mad times. When we finally got up, cool. But even though I say I met Don through facts, I met Don before I met facts. Okay. Because I used to record at Zyak Studios. All right, all right. And Zyak and Nick Chu used to always be like doing little freestyle shits and then videotaping people. Mm -hmm. One night, VVS, Verbal, Mad Flatbush niggas is in there. Mm -hmm. But. The little nigga Dawn is catching my ear. Some bond everybody to death. Bond. I'm like, yeah, this nigga's nice. So I never approached him yet out of respect. Matter of fact, let me, let me take that back. After that night, we ain't see each other for a while. Mm -hmm. Then now I link back up with him through facts. So when we kicking, I see nobody's doing nothing with the young boy. Mm -hmm. So I approach facts one day, like, let me get Dawn. 
Yeah. Like, forget whatever was said after that, mm-hmm. you know? So I waited a while, seeing nothing was going on. Then I approached Dom myself. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, I got something going on over here. I'm putting this together, whatever. He's like, all right, I'm cool with that. Like, yo, I'm here. Mm-hmm. Now me, Dawn, Emac, the female rapper, I'm not gonna say her name. Mm-hmm. We moving around. We got three records. Mm-hmm. Okay, we just got these three records. But we get a response every time we go to one of these shows in the city and perform these same three records. Mm-hmm. So then I'm like, all right, cool. At that time, I met Blanco through my manager. Okay. So I pulled him on board, another nice thing. He, I met him because he wanted to do a record with me. And then I told son, line it up. We met in the studio, dropped the record. I took a liking to son, mm-hmm. so kept him with me. I already had plans for biz when he was coming home. I'm like, all right, that's the final piece to the puzzle. Mm-hmm. So we just pushing, we pushing the line, we pushing it. And we started making noise. Mm-hmm. Then biz come home. So at the time, biz come home around the time, but the fuck shit is still going on with Wink and Graham. Okay. So niggas is playing tug of war, trying to get biz on their side. All right, you know, all right. niggas is running to the halfway house to take pictures with them. Niggas is doing, doing the most. Yeah, I'm right, right, the political moves. Like yeah, that. yeah. But it was more to that. I knew what that was really about. It mm. was like, oh, Wink got that one, so let's go stand next to this one. Yeah, okay, okay. That's what it really was. I, 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 I see what you're saying. Yeah, so then as I passed that, me and Cuz lock in. So Cuz was recording the tape already. Mm. So I had Max shoot some videos for him. Drop the tape, shot the video. We still grinding. We started bubbling, just bubbling, bubbling, and then we was making noise. Mm. You, know, you feel me? And then we start doing different type of shows, mm. doing the SOBs, doing the the the, the bigger paper box sides and all that. Mm. So shit started turning around, and then bubbling for a while. We had a nice we had a nice run before I got not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 but by then I'm doing my <clears throat> own thing. I can't tell you what Wink was doing at mm-hmm. that time because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing my own thing. But he called me, he texted me one day. <clears throat> he like, yo, let's chop it up, air out whatever mm-hmm. issues we got. So now I'm that shit threw me for a loop. Mm-hmm. You know you had I'm like, nigga, man. I ain't know we had issues. That's exactly what I text him. I should have brought that phone, some of my old before. So I'm like, nigga, I ain't know we had issues. That's I don't like to text for a reason. I think I be reading text messages they, the wrong way sometimes. Yeah. I be telling yeah. people like, yo, the way you text this shit sometimes, sometimes I think niggas be barking with words yeah, or yeah, it's yeah. not so. You just read it the wrong way. Yeah, I'm reading the shit, shit, but I didn't read what yeah. he texted me the wrong way. Nah, you feel but, me? Yeah. So I'm like, yo, I know we have problems. So he like, yo, you know, he dancing around the shit at first and he mm-hmm. said, yo, I stopped fucking with the boy who was my manager. His name was mm-hmm. Prince. Yeah. He like, but you still fuck? I'm like, first of all, I don't know Prince, do you really? I know Prince from up the hill. Actually, don't I know Prince's older brothers, mm. Curtis, E, Elijah, street niggas. Yeah, yeah, he's the baby. Like you feel me? So when I get around him now, it wasn't until my other man was like, "Yo, that's your man, little brother." Mm. So I'm like, "Who?" He like, "Son, that's Junior." Next, you not asked. I'm like, "Yo, such a." He like, "Yeah, that's me." He was like, "Yo, I was staring at you when I first saw you. Like, yo, where I know this nigga from?" Mm-hmm. But there was a time I spent time up the hill on Empire sides. Okay, that's why. Everybody know, niggas to tell you, yo, VT and the Stones up there, they fucked each other. I went to school with all of them. Elementary, junior high, all of those schools, you yeah. feel me? So I know all those, the Rutten Plaza sides, the Albany Ave sides and all mm-hmm. that. No, so we going back and forth. I'm like, yo, boy, I met with both of them separately. Like, yo, don't bring his name up to me, whatever y'all, because I feel both of y'all lying. And that was a big issue with me and Wayne too. They gonna be lying about some shit. Mm-hmm. So. I just, I ain't put it out there. I just took a step back <clears> and, <throat> and then mm. we just started bubbling. We started catching the wave. Mm. And then I ended up getting locked up. All right, boom. So fast forward, when you started getting locked up, because I, I, let's just piggyback off of that joint right there. Like when you got, got locked up and shit, like a lot of rumors started coming out. And after that, I don't know if you've seen the song the other day, but I just like recently seen the song from Wanker. He basically was saying like a Bonton's a rat type mm-hmm. stuff. So like, Explain, explain to people like exactly how how that happened. Like, what, what, situ- what was the situation? All right, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a address the situation, but I'm gonna address Wink after that. Okay, I got locked up with a pistol mm-hmm. on June 14th. What was that? 14, 2014, 15. Mm-hmm. I get locked up on a pistol charge. Get knocked with strap. I bail out. I get locked up with one of my young homeboys from Church Ave. We both get knocked with grips on us. We get locked, bail out next day. 
Mm-hmm. Man, it's street. A month later, I'm gonna fast forward to this shit. A mm-hmm. month later. Now, before that, we went to one court day, me and homie. Yeah. Now, a young homeboy named Bart from Church Ave. Mm-hmm. He seen the inside of a courtroom one day. Mm-hmm. His pistol charge went away. And no, I'm not saying he tell him. Mm-hmm. He could tell everybody how his pistol charge went away. I made it go away. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel me? Okay. So we see, we went to arraignment. After we bailed out, we went to arraignment. Tight not guilty, whatever. That's the only time he's seen the inside of a courtroom on that charge. Mm-hmm. A month later, July 14th, I'm at work. I get a call from my story, I get a call from both my baby moms. So feds is here looking for you. I'm like, for what? He just hit me, yo, they picked up the grip charge. I'm like, all right, fuck it. So I'm thinking, if I turn myself in, I'm gonna get a bail. Mm. I don't know why the fuck I did that. I should have ran until they caught me. Mm. Turn myself in. I don't get a bail. That's when shit start coming out the woodwork. I'm sitting up. The first lawyer they send me, she like, yo, I'm gonna try and get you a bail, whatever, whatever. Shorty goes in the courtroom and come back like, yo, they got you on the murder. I can't do nothing for you. I'm like, bitch, the fuck is you talking about? I'm here on a mm-hmm. pistol. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next you know. Boom, at that time, I got to an issue with, I didn't get to an issue. I had put hands on somebody that was related to Biz, but I didn't know he was related to Biz. Mm-hmm. I come outside, I see a nigga trying to swing on my sister. Okay. So I get into whatever, I end up breaking my finger. So I go do with the slit on my finger, whatever. Now, when I get remanded and shit, they send me off. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, all right, I got the pistol charge, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. Next you know, I'm hearing shit from my first bit. See, on my first fed bit, I got locked up with guns, but I also got locked up for obstruction of justice. Okay. There was somebody telling on biz that mm-hmm. I approached, and mm-hmm. homeboy went right back to the feds like, yo, he know, whatever, whatever. So mm-hmm. along with my guns, I got locked up on that obstruction charge. When mm-hmm. biz took his 10 and I took my time for, the, for his gun and I did mine, mm-hmm. they never went push forward with us on the obstruction of justice charge. Okay, okay. They ain't, they was like, all right, they copped out to them guns, whatever. Now, when I get locked up this time around, boy that told on us end up getting killed while I was away. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So when I get locked up on this pistol, I don't know that they have somebody already locked up that's giving them the whole shit that mm-hmm. was allegedly there for this murder. Okay. He's giving them everything already. Mm-hmm. He got locked up with you? No, oh. this nigga got locked up in North Carolina. For his own shit. For his own shit. Um, from what I hear, guns and drugs or whatever. So he gets like, if somebody, I don't know none of this is going on, but now they come in to holla at me because they like, yo, it started with him. Okay. You feel me? When I say it started with me, the obstruction of justice charge. Oh, this okay, is locked okay. up. We get word that this person was the one sitting on biz. Hmm. I approach the person. When I, I approach him on Claridon and Nostrum by myself. Approach him, tell him, stop fucking with the people, yo. Niggas gonna give it a pass, just relax. He turned around right there and then and went and told them people, yo, he knows, yo, yo, get me out of here. They snatch me up. Okay. I'll go away. This is the first one. I okay. go away. So now when I come, while I'm away, boy end up getting knocked down. I already nigga got knocked down trying to rob somebody, pulling a home invasion. Okay. So I never believed boy was put down. Mm-hmm. There's a million people that could tell you. I always said that, like, man, that nigga somewhere chilling. Mm-hmm. Fast forward, now I get locked up for this pistol. The feds already got the nigga that's running his mouth. Oh, my fault. Before you put, you mean, you're trying to say you, you never believe that it, they, 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 um, they took care of him. You believe that they gave him a pass and he was somewhere hiding or something? Yeah, I, I thought he was like in the street somewhere. I thought he just left the hood. Okay, okay. But I just didn't believe it. Because right. I, I was asking, when I came home, I was asking people, yo, who went to the wake? Who went to this, that? Uh-huh. Never got any real answers. I was like, yeah, whatever. Never paid no mind to it. Mm-hmm. Next, you know, when I get locked up on the second fab beat, this shit coming back up now. Mm. This is 10 years after boy mm. whatever took place with him. I'm sitting there. They come the first time. I'm like, man, fuck out of here. Like, I'm ready 47 to 56. I'm already jumping on that to do that time for this pistol. Man. 47 to 56 months. I could mm. do that shit in a sardine can with no holes in it. All right. So I'm like, I'm ready to do that. But they pause in my court dates. Mm. Next, you know, my lawyer pull up one day like, yo, they got you on a murder. Well, they trying to put a murder in. I'm like, what murder? Nigga asked me if I knew Nashua Johnson. I'm like, yeah, I know him, but nigga, I was locked up when that dude got murdered. I don't know nothing about his murder. Nothing. This mm. ain't me just lying. On my, this ain't me lying on my lawyer. Mm. This is me. Nigga, I really don't know nothing about this shit, and mm. I never believed it. Mm. So now they come and they like, yo, somebody is pointing them in your direction. I later come to find out it was Swinch. Okay. When he got locked up, he was a somebody was telling on him, and okay. 
I'll so you're saying the dude in North up. Carolina was telling on him and he basically came out and... The dude in North Carolina already gave them everything. He got locked up on weapons and gun charges. Uh-huh. So he already gave them niggas up because he, and he was allegedly there the night this murder went to place. Okay. He was there. So he's already given son up. All right. So I think boy went to go visit son. Mm-hmm. And dude asked Squinch, yo, what happened with such and such? Nigga, if you there for some work, you don't got to ask this nigga what that was about. 10 years later or whenever he whenever he went to visit me and you go do something and we both was there because why am i asking you what was that about or what took place yeah. i was there when whatever took place yeah yeah so i guess boy didn't pick up on that or whatever whole and time he just he spoke ready, get ready told boy but he was talking greasy like that's what boy always did so that's what's when style he he liked the and i want to use amp shit he just liked to poke his chest out like okay. make it seem like he's superman or whatever so at this time i'm still sitting Mm-hmm. At this time, I don't even know. Not only is Boy telling on Swinge, Swinge is pulling people in left and right. And he's not pulling people in. He's trying to pull people in. Mm-hmm. And I didn't learn this until I'm home these times. Mm-hmm. I already knew he was talking to him, but I didn't have any proof. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? It was things they was coming to me with where I'm like, yo, hold up. So when did you exactly get the proof that he, he was exactly talking to them? When I came home, uh, when he went for an appeal. Mm-hmm. See, it's crazy when the whole, yo, BT Phil Gates is telling, yo, this, that, mm-hmm. and the third, I'm not going to jump out the window and try and defend that because I don't have the proof in my hand. Mm-hmm. But I'm a nigga that did a fed bid. Mm-hmm. You just blew trial to some shit. You definitely going to an appeal. Mm-hmm. See, now, when you go for that appeal, all well, that bullshit you were saying in them back rooms and everything that you was trying to put on me, it's going to be in your paperwork. Mm-hmm. And I got my hands on the paperwork. Okay. People was coming at me left and right. <clears throat> yeah, yo, I, sit down with me. Yo, come do this. I'm I, like, nah, I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm this good. is what I wanted to say though, because a lot of people were saying like they like they seen you take the stand and join like that. You want to break did that take down? The stand. What was that about? I took this stand because I'm like, okay, boy, you're going hard trying to create a facade. Hmm. I'm a bigger catch to the feds than you. Biz is a bigger catch, but I didn't know he was adding the likes of. And the whole lot, he was trying to build the whole story. Mm-hmm. I didn't know he was doing that. Though when I found out, I still don't have the solid poop. But them people play them games. Mm-hmm. They'll they'll throw information out there and look at you like, hey, you know what we got that from. Mm-hmm. So I already knew he was telling. I knew he was mm-hmm. talking. So, so I'm basically, like, when you, when you ooh, took this, strange. nah, I'm, yeah, that's a fact. So when you took this, like when you took, now nah, I'm gonna get to that. Okay, okay, okay. No, yeah, now I'm sitting there. I tell my lawyer. He come to me like, yo, they want to talk. I'm like, I ain't got nothing to talk talk to them about. Mm. I said, if they want to talk to me, I want full immunity. Because mm-hmm. I could only incriminate myself. Yeah, I don't know nothing about what anybody did. I could only create, incriminate myself. So if, if you're not giving me immunity for what I'm going to say to you, mm. then we don't got nothing to talk about. Mm. But that, that immunity comes in the form of cooperation. Mm. So I'm sitting there like, I'm talking to my lawyer. Shout out to Peter Guadagnino. And he telling me like, yo, you're a bigger cat. The names that this person is saying and they throwing in the air, the feds would love to grab all of y'all up. I'm like, yo, I don't know nothing about this murder. So next you know, but he's still pushing this. Yo, BT did this with this person and that, and yo, I was defending him and this, that, and the third. Mm. So I'm like, all right, homie, I see you not letting up on trying to throw me and whoever else under the bus so I can throw myself under the bus. Mm. I'm like, all right, I'll take the agreement. Mm. I capped the obstruction charge. After that, I don't know nothing about this case. So that's what you took the stand for, basically? Yeah, to, I took the stand because I was the one that approached boy 10 years before this murder happened. So, I mean, I, so but like this, I'm sorry, this is how crazy it is because when mm. everybody said you took the stand, they tried to say you took the stand and pointed like people out and said, yeah, they, com- you, they committed that. Oh, yeah? Did, did niggas don't know who he pointed out though? No, I'm no. That's what I'm saying. Like whoever, like whoever was involved in the. Nah, I'm gonna show you something. In, in the, there got to the, be somebody in the courtroom. He's pointing nah, out. Nah, it was it was it was mad people in the courtroom. But uh. you know, in you see that you see the top of that paperwork and say USA versus Ramsey. Yeah, that's Swinge's real name, Malik Ramsey. Okay, that's the paperwork I have right here, right? Yeah. All right. Now you said people said I was pointing people out and putting them on, and I said these niggas did this murder and this, that, and the third, right? Mm-hmm. Where's that? What I'm looking 
Because, you know, for a minute, a lot of people was going crazy. Because I'm not even going to lie. Even when the situation came out, Tax Stone was actually one of those guys that was acting like he doesn't really believe it. Like, he couldn't believe it at first. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, nobody. one thing I could honestly say, I knew that was going to happen. Uh -huh. And I said, okay, you know what? A nigga going to get crucified. They said, nobody wants to pay. Nobody pays attention to the truth. The lie is more entertaining. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I expected that. So I'm like, okay, cool, run with it. Because mm -hmm. you can't turn back when the truth come out now. You mm -hmm. got to stand on that shit. Yeah. In his, in his own paperwork, it says, Grant never implicated either defendant in the murder. On the contrary, he testified that he had an issue with them for not doing something to him. That's in his own paperwork. This is in this right here, right? Yeah, that's in his paperwork. You get what I'm saying? So fuck with anybody saying it's in black and white in his work. Nigga, I don't know nothing about a murder. I can't put a murder on you, nigga. Mm -hmm. Me and you never had no conversations <clears throat> about a murder. I was not there for this murder. Nobody involved on that side besides myself. Nigga, me and you niggas never spoke about this. I don't know nothing about it. But here's the bigger question. Since you said, Peter said I was pointing people out and this and that. Mm -hmm. So why them people ain't in jail? No, what they're trying to say is the people that they say were involved in the murder, they said that you pointed them out, like the two guys. The two, it's, it's, the right two guys. There, it's right there in your hand. So in the paperwork... I said, mm -hmm. As soon as that happened, I was trying backdoor shit as far as... I did videos with Swin. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get the videos pulled off the line. Mm -hmm. The person who shot the video, the feds went to them. Mm -hmm. And you pull this video down, you're you going to be involved in something you don't want no parts in. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. My, my, my lawyer was like, yo, if they ask you if you know a boy, just answer shit and move on. Mm -hmm. He's like, because if they play that video in the courtroom, it's going to make him look more bad. Mm. It's a video of a thousand trips. You crazy? So, I never said I knew him. Stitch, mm. the other one. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So, how could if I show me where it got to be in black and white that I said, yo, y'all committed this murder. Mm. I was never asked about a murder from the government. I was asked about the obstruction that I did. You get what I'm saying? Not one time the government asked me about a murder. Not one time. So, how did the snitching rumors come that? out? The snitching rumors came out because Wink pushed that line. Wink was in the courtroom. You get what I'm saying? Mm. See right here? What page is it on? I could just pull uh, it. Up. Eight of twenty-seven. See, this is where Swin's lawyer was trying to argue something. So uh -huh. she said, during closing counsel, Grant hates Malik Ramsey. Uh -huh. I'm Grant. Yeah, yeah. The testimony by Grant against Ramsey is designed to help him with his own problems. This is the line he's still trying to push. Okay. Now this is the government answering they said. They say, yeah, Grant's testimony was largely limited to background information and gain, gains knowledge of Johnson cooperating. That was me knowing he was telling. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Now, look. It says, to support the prosecution the theory that Ramsey and Mouchette did not fully believe Johnson was cooperating until Padgett's in-court statement. I don't know if Padgett is bad. I don't know what in-court statement they're talking about. Okay. Now it says Grant never implicated either of the defendants in the murder. On the contrary, Grant testified that he was upset with Ramsey for not acting against Johnson. That's page eight of twenty-seven. I ain't gonna lie. I you feel me right on me? But nah. But let's talk about it. You know, <laughs> I, I, I wasn't able to do certain things yeah, because yeah. I had a PO from hell. This nigga be bugging. But now that situation changed, mm -hmm. I could speak out. Yeah. So let's talk about it. I never implicated nobody in the murder. Now let me tell you this. <laughs> I could have easily, the obstruction charge, mm -hmm. what am I telling on somebody for that for? I could take that to trial and beat it. Mm -hmm. You know why I could beat it? Because the, the person that I told to stop doing whatever, mm -hmm. he's no longer here. Mm -hmm. So who's going to take the stand on me if I go to trial on obstruction charge? Yeah. I'll beat that shit hands down. You got nobody to say that I, me and this man had this conversation. He didn't record it. Mm -hmm. He just came and met up with me. I said what I said. He said what he said. I told him I knew this, that, and the third. And he went about his business. Then he went and told them people. Like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So, as far as to answer your question, when you said with the town and all that, mm -hmm. that was Wink who did that. I got word of that as soon as I got back to the spot when I got on the phone. Mm -hmm. You see, now I'm gonna lead into the conversation why I really stopped fucking with Wink. Mm -hmm. You know that conversation I told you I had when he texted me about, mm -hmm. yo, let's clear the air? Mm -hmm. I told him I don't like how he be dick riding Jeezy and don't get nothing out of it. I'm like, boy, I'm not nobody's security. Okay. I'm not gonna be running around with y'all niggas like, homie, bust a move. Tell them drop a light something. Tell them put niggas in a position to, you know, 
yeah, it's cool being on stage with Summer Jam and this and that. But your homie, we pushing the crap. We trying to build something. I don't like lap dancing niggas. So I'm like, yo, I was getting to the point where I, I literally told Wing, I was like, man, don't make niggas get on some shit where you old boy ain't good. Hmm. Cause it can happen. Maybe shows out here could be shut down. All you gotta do it's easy to shut a show down. All you gotta do is make security uncomfortable. Yeah. Shit shut down. Just make them feel uncomfortable. After that conversation, you gotta understand that always been Wayne style. They just wanted to drop that nigga on his head when he came home. I stopped that shit. Mm. That's a fact. Grant could attest to this. Grant like, damn, cuz, I remember you said Wayne was a bitch. I said, yeah, he a bitch, but he my bitch right now. You feel me? Mm. I'm like, and you ain't gonna be doing what you doing while he's standing next to me. Yeah, yeah. You see that nigga somewhere else and you wanna get disrespectful? Cool. You just ain't doing it with me. Mm-hmm. And that's what it was. You feel me? So that always been a thing, the lip boxing. Mm. Me, boy, it is what it is. We, you know? So you mean to tell me that whole rumor, cause that shit kinda like picked up like hot fire, bro. Cause let me tell you, let me let me let me tell you why it picked up a hot fire. Let's not pull <clears> no <throat> punches here. Yeah. Nigga, my shit ring in the street. That's a fact. That's why it took off like that. See, if I was a nobody in these streets, mm-hmm. you wouldn't have heard a word. With the hip, top dog. Yeah. yeah. Even the scratch so it was of the interesting. Top dog's name that shit is in your it. face, homie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, I, I you see feel it right me? Here, man. That work is. I, you know what I mean? I'm gonna put the paperwork but, up. But with, hold on. Um, let's get to let's get to something else. Because nigga said, see, you're not a real nigga mm-hmm. because you went to trial in blue. Mm. You're not a real nigga because you sat in them rooms with them people and you tried to put it on other niggas. Mm. And then when you had no choice because the nigga who was with you allegedly put it on you, they like nigga, you lying. You feel me? Mm. They like nigga, you lying. Mm. And you had nothing to do with it. They can't from the records because I see that I read um most of the joint. I see that they was trying to pull phone records and they, they wasn't getting the records exactly. They were trying to pull me and Biz phone records. Yeah. You feel me? They ain't send no missile at Yeah, son. yeah, I see they, they do that say, already. Yo, go whoop why he's like, you, you feel me? That yeah, never yeah. happened. Yeah, because yeah, I, I I see in the paperwork they said that basically y'all didn't really know what happened. All y'all heard nah, about we it. Knew. No, y'all heard about we it. Y'all, about y'all, didn't, y'all didn't send a missile, but y'all oh, nah, heard about I heard, it. Oh, the only story I ever heard about that was boy tried to rob somebody mm-hmm. and he got knocked down. Mm-hmm. I never heard no other story until that fucking court case came up. I never That's heard crazy. any other story pertaining to that shit. You feel me? But there's a flip side to that. Mm. I sent you two other joints. Yeah. yeah, there's one thing I gotta say though, right? Um, we had this conversation before we did this, right? Yeah. And there's a lot of things you said, like, um, one thing I gotta probably like I, I kinda I agree with you with that. You said to me, like, yo, if you was telling There'll be a lot more people That's locked up. That's a fact. Up. I'm glad you brung that up because I'm going to reiterate that. Uh, like if I was telling the streets it'd be empty, my projects would be empty. I know real secrets, homie. I've been in the street. I've been running around a long time. Yeah. If I was telling, nigga, you mean to tell me I was telling that nobody from my projects went to jail? Nobody from the other side of the turf? Nobody from no other side of the turf went mm-hmm. to jail? Nobody got pulled into that case? Question I wanted to ask you about this before we get into that. The paperwork's been out since 2019. Yeah, but nobody wanted to address it. You know why? Nick, I, me showing you this paper, you mean to tell me if I can get my hands on this paperwork, mm-hmm. nobody else could have? I mean, it's just a Google away. I just Googled it. That's how fast you, you, you told me how fast it was Google. So you what I'm me? saying is, is there anybody that you think that's seen this paperwork, but they're not saying nothing? A lot of people. I sent that paperwork to Crave. He was in contact with my brother. Mm-hmm. Crave was another nigga like lap dancing niggas. He knew about it, mm-hmm. but I just like I told because. Yo, my brother kept staying on me. Yo, yo, you don't feel it? I said, my nigga, just wait till they go for their appeal mm-hmm. and we gonna get what we gotta get. I said, my nigga, I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. But the paperwork came, you mean to tell me that paperwork came out way in 2019? Yeah. Trying to tell me I'm the only one with this paperwork? That's what I'm saying. That's nah, a- it's the you can't double back effect. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Niggas pushed a, a lie so hard, mm-hmm. you can't double back now. Or you don't want to be the first one to double back. All right, so fast forward, um, like I was saying, Wayne just li- literally just dropped the video last week and he kind of like reiterated saying that BT's not the only one snitching. What I'm going to say to that is that this. Video. What I'm going to say that I don't... I hope Wayne got that same energy in traffic. That's how I'm going to end that one. 
You feel uh-huh. me? I protected Wink in these streets, my nigga. Mm-hmm. They couldn't move around without me. One night his own, he's gonna pitch his fucking head on two first and surgery called me over there to get him out of that shit. Mm-hmm. They had some type of little, you know, get together, whatever, where everybody start flipping on him. I brought Wink to a trade day where the same squins tried to line Wink that day. Mm-hmm. I had to push Wink in my car and drive him back home. He's in Flushing Metal Park. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Squins never liked Wink. Mm-hmm. That's why I was surprised to even see him right there. Mm-hmm. He never liked that nigga. Never. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But it wasn't just with them. It was mad niggas on Wink Hills. And that's a, that was one of the main reasons I was like, yo, let me, let me, let me pull back from this nigga because That's crazy. Look, because I'm like, yo. I'm like, nigga, you ain't it ain't gonna be going down like that with me and you moving around, you feel me? So the flip side of thing to reiterate that, it is mm-hmm. what it is. So I have to say whatever. Mm-hmm. You run into each other. Uh, so um yeah man so let's get into this joint that you sh- you sent me the now this is the part where I didn't know any of this stuff mm-hmm. see the top page it starts off with my rap lyrics mm-hmm. it starts off from the song Lean With It I had where I made reference to Nash in that song okay see at these times he's telling the feds I confess to the murder mm-hmm. yo I said it in a song yo this that and third mind you I didn't know none of this shit was going on at the time mm-hmm. so it said in short, the defendants already had Grant confessing on video to his involvement in the murder, mm-hmm. which they did not use during trial. Moreover, defendants already knew that Grant believed Johnson to be cooperating as of 2008. Grant testified that the 2007 obstruction of justice complaint filed against him confirmed to him that Johnson was cooperating. You see? I said it, I said it confirmed to me. Okay. Well, let's talk about it. Defendants also had ample evidence connecting Grant to the G Stone Crips and his leader. He ain't got nothing to do with this shit. That man been in the state since 2003. Mm-hmm. He has nothing to do with none of this shit at all. You feel me? Yeah. But this is what Wendy is telling these people. Okay. He's trying to create a big enough story to where he could flip on us and he get the walk. All right. Now. This is Squinji telling them all that's this. That's a fact. Why you think you see his name at the top of the paperwork? Malik Ramsey. Who the defendant, oh yeah, let me go back. Defendants also had ample evidence connecting Grant to the G-Stone Crips and his leader. Who defendants allege conspired with Grant to kill Johnson. Mm-hmm. So did you even have contact no. with the home at that time? See, he knows that the sister mm-hmm. have two kids with her. Mm-hmm. Spence knew that. And he know I fuck with the stones on Albany Ave heavy. Mm-hmm. Since a youth. You feel me? He knew all of this. Mm-hmm. A lot of times niggas knew, yo, if he ain't in the projects, yo, he up the hill. Yeah. You feel me? So he knew this. So he tried to use it to his advantage. It's like if you tell him, you got to give information to make it look like you actually know, no. Yeah, but not only that, nobody else see how the feds play. Two people got to cooperate something. He gave them this whole spill and it didn't work. Yeah. It didn't work because his man was telling on him. <laughs> Damn. So you trying to point it in my direction and... Somebody who's saying that they was there, they saying nah, it's him. He was. He told me to do it while I was. Like, That's a was, fact. Yeah. Now it was because he tried to say he was in London or some shit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It says second. Defendants knew that a man nicknamed, along with another man nicknamed, drove Johnson to Atlanta prior to the murder. Mm-hmm. Third, defendants knew that he was a member of the G Stone Crips. Fourth, defendants knew that nut. Another member of the G-Stone Crips drove the lead car in the caravan that brought Johnson to the scene of his death. Nut ain't had nothing to do with that. Mm-hmm. But this is what... The picture they're painting. This is the picture that... Not, not that, that he's trying to paint. Mm-hmm. This is the picture where he like, oh, all right, let me start throwing some big names, some names that I'm pretty sure done landed in these people ear. Let me throw them out there and hopefully they bite. So yeah. with all this, uh, before we continue this, cause um, it's like I'm like I'm, I gotta keep it real, you know. This is Gaza City TV. I, I know, I know what it is, man. But um, like with all this paperwork out right now, and I see like just the other day, I I, I seen like people were like shouting those dudes out. I my thing is, how come nobody's really like picking up on the on because, the facts? Because dudes pick and choose what they want to entertain. Mm-hmm. I seen a nigga from my hood the other day post a picture of a nigga he no told on a nigga and the, 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 the caption said, one of the realest niggas I've, I've met in my life. 
Where I heard you another conversation say that boy told on people. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So dudes play the pick and choose game. And not only that, I had mm. my foot on motherfuckers' necks for a real long time. Mm. So a lot of people who it didn't turn out that way when we crossed paths or we bumped heads on another level. Yeah. So yeah, I knew that was the and the majority of that was niggas who always felt the way but couldn't say nothing when I'm moving around. Yeah. yeah so it's yeah. your boy not here and everybody, yo, let's just run with this. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie to you. I have to give. I have to keep it real. Even though like a lot of times when the it was going viral, basically, because it, it went viral when when that whole shit came out. Um and um they were that there were people saying it, but it. You could see there was still people saying, man, listen, man, a lot of people probably wouldn't tell, say that to this guy's face if they seen him, man. I mean, I ain't never been a sucker. You mm. feel me? And that's a fact. Mm. Niggas, I don't care about the post and the this, the that. Nigga, do what you doing. Mm-hmm. Just had that same energy in traffic. Uh-huh. You feel me? That's yeah. somebody tracking us the whole time. Yo, yo, screenshot everything. Nah, I agree, I agree, you I agree. You feel me? I, I probably was one of the screenshots, I gotta admit. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, that's a like fact. But, but see, it went out like me, wildfire. Let me you tell you why I gave you the interview and not other people. Because when I spoke to you, I said it to you, like, homie, hey, know why I sent it to you first? Because I saw an interview where you was entertaining and you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, hey, let's set this straight. Your exact words was, yo, you know what, homie? I didn't know none of this shit, my bad. I was just, you feel me? So I'm like, you ain't try to pull a stunt. You ain't try to beat me in my head. I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, it is what it is. And I'm gonna give you something even better. Mm-hmm. If I was one of those people out there and this was going on, I would have probably been entertaining some shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But one thing about me, I would have went and got the proof. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, all right, hold See, on. See, the proof wasn't out. See, I cannot deny it. Paperwork though, you know what I'm saying? This is one thing you you could you could try to say whatever you want. It's like I, I, I don't know. But nobody you never pulled up no paperwork. Nobody didn't want to pull up no paperwork because you know no, why? I'm saying nobody got paperwork on you. Period though. No, you got you got my minutes on the stand. Yeah. So if you got if if motherfucker got my minutes, show the minutes where I say yo this nigga murdered this motherfucker. They can't for, for can't put that. no paper because it don't exist. Exactly. You feel me? You know who's the only person who asked me about a murder in that courtroom? Who Swin's lawyer? That's crazy. She's the only person. It's in the minutes. Nobody else asked me. The government didn't ask me about the money. Mm. They asked me about the obstruction shit, and they asked me about a bunch of shootings they had me tied to. Mm-hmm. That, I mean, that's the stuff that you admitted to. Yeah, that's a basically, fact. Cause cause you I was knew basically I wasn't hurting out. nobody. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew I wasn't hurting nobody. <clears throat> like, all right, nigga. Shit, nigga. If this is the, if this is how it comes in the form of immunity for, nigga, here, yeah, y'all can take mm. that shit. This don't hurt them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? But boy is in, but boy is in them rooms. You, you throwing everybody. I don't even know what you do. Yeah. You feel me? I don't know those dudes. Mm-hmm. Never spoke to them in my life. I don't know them. This nigga even got my baby moms in this city. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But now I'm going to jump back to the first fed bed. When I went away on them guns, that wasn't Nash that lined me up for the guns. Mm-hmm. It was another nigga from my hood, Desmond Hughes. Mm-hmm. He had... he. When I was up north, the nigga moms kicked him out. My moms let him live in my crib. And how he pay it back, nigga wore, he got knocked on some shit and wore a wire and started recording everybody. At this time, I come home from the state. Mm-hmm. I don't know he fucking with them people. They like, nigga, go at him. Like, you feel me? I didn't sell that nigga those guns. Mm-hmm. I live in Vanderveer. I know every maintenance worker. A maintenance worker was doing somebody kitchen over and when they ripped out the sink, they found a bag of guns on the floor, all rusted and everything. Mm. They gave it to my cousin. She gave it to her baby father mm. who bragged to me. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? You know, niggas tried to soak them shits in WD-40, bring them back, this and that. Mm. Boy beating me in the head. He just can't, he, I don't know he on the run from the army. Mm. Desmond. So he telling me he knows somebody that could fix the guns. I'm like, all right, fuck it. He like, yo, but son want to buy them, whatever, whatever. Whole time, this nigga bringing me fed money. Oh, okay. And he wearing a camera and everything. Oh, wearing right. the shit, walking through the hood and everything, and it's down the third. So that's how I ended up. But they played their hand too early. That's why I jumped on that bed. I was like, yo, fuck it. And the obstruction never went anywhere. Because Biz took his dime. And you took and I took shoes. mine. So it was like, yo, the government was satisfied with that. Mm-hmm. Both of them, yeah, they yeah, doing they're time. Yeah, they satisfied with they doing time. And also, a lot of people will try also try to throw it out there because they also try to say you, you um, you, you stitching on business. Was that ever true? How? What did I stitch on business about? 
No, I'm just saying that because you know that when the rumors start, everybody just starts saying fact. all type of stuff. You don't hear Ben saying that. Well, he never pushed that line, so yeah. You mm-hmm. don't hear Ben saying that. What did I? All right, let me give. I give you one better. If I was telling on Biz, why I wasn't at Biz's trial? Mm. If I'm telling on Biz, you don't think the government would put me yeah. on his trial? Mm. They'd be like, nigga, this nigga's the closest thing. If we talking mob life, you got boss under boss. Mm. Where, where he yeah. was locked while he was in trial? Yeah, right. In, uh, and then the begin, nah, I just, I uh, just, I just. Okay, I'm saying they would have had to snatch you up and brought nah, you. they could have easily did it. Yeah. Even, even if let's be real, if I'm snitching and I'm yeah. cooperating and yeah, I'm on payroll, have, yeah, you would have to be yeah. in the town, and they'd be like, they nigga, have, yeah, you, you got to gotta come up. sit on this nigga. Unless nigga? your word does don't so mean crazy. shit no yeah, more. That's then. a fact. Exactly. Why, why? You mean to tell me I'm telling on Biz, but they're not gonna bring me to his yeah. trial? And this is and this is another thing. So what did I tell on? But Biz? people just you see that's the crazy thing about it because people just hear that word and run with it. Yeah. And yeah, a lot yeah. of people never really go through the system. It's like yo, y'all gotta think. Nah, it's but like, I'm gonna give you one real. You know why niggas really went hard with it? Because I can't stand back. Niggas know I pushed that line. Facts. Because I played a part in it. So you feel me? Nigga, it's not shit. Yo, get the fuck away from me, nigga. Yeah. Like, yo, like I gotta reiterate again. So you mean to tell me with all those rumors, bro, there's not one single rat thing that happened with you with that case? You got you got all the pages. No, I got all the pages, but it's like I gotta hear it from you because the rumors were so no, heavy. No, I never like, put no murder on them niggas. I never brought them in. I wasn't they code defendants, nothing. You feel me? I didn't bring them niggas in. Tell them to show the complaint. The streets is in. cold though, <laughs> son. Now, yo, you gotta understand when you see some shit like this and how the the how heavy, bro, how heavy that yo yo cuz gave it up, cuz gave it up, cuz gave it up, bro. And then to but now, then niggas has got paperwork on squint, so niggas don't run around talking about he. Nah, cause you, you you know you know some is and some gonna be like, yo, we knew that already. You feel me? Niggas knew. You mean to tell me I'm the only one with my hands on this paperwork? Me? Can't be. Can't be. Can't be. But this is the, you know, it is what it is. Politics. It is what it is. You feel me? But to answer, to go back to, to to go back to your question, show me it in the minutes. Show me where I said, yo, I knew, show me where I said I knew about a murder. I spoke to them about a murder. He told me he murdered something. I said, yo, that motherfucker murder. You can't show it because it don't exist. You feel me? But niggas be like, yo, free the real. Let's look at what the real nigga was saying when he was in them clothes behind them closed doors. You feel me? That nigga been in been up north since 2003. What is his name doing in this? That's crazy, bro. Nut been bounced. What is his name doing in this? It don't make no sense. But it is what it is. Son, that's fucking crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all niggas. Like, yo, I'm, yo, son, I, like, we spoke already before this, but even, like, going through the interview and just hearing it over again, it's like, I cannot even believe it. Dead, dead. So this starts from one person and this press, like, wildfire, cuz. Nah, the streets is cold, cuz. Niggas got to double. See, niggas can't, cuz a lot of people will say sometimes you don't need paperwork, but when, it, when cases are this heavy, there's going to be paperwork. I'm saying they're not even talking about... Most of the things I read right here, you, they're not even talking about confidential CIs. Ooh, to be honest um, with you, this never case. Explained, oh, this, he never <clears throat> explained the backstory. Yeah, I'm going to be real with you. Let's be real, bro. He, I, I, look, 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 when I was fucking with Wayne, and like I said, we had a relationship from school days and this, that, and the third, but when we talking the music times and all that, nigga, let's be real. We both using each other. Mm-hmm. It's set. The turf you from don't even acknowledge you. Mm-hmm. You need help out there. Can't move around. And then you know where the line I'm pushing and you know how I'm moving. It's like, nigga, we move, we, a word on my side of it, word, you over there standing next to son. I, I protect you to get in the same room as that nigga. And then the first bit of FaceTime I get from son, mm-hmm. nigga, I'm pushing to do VMG. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. To keep it a buck with you, that don't mean we wouldn't be part of that. But mm-hmm. it's like, yo, bro, if you're not looking for something bigger, I'm looking for something right. bigger. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? So you using his opportunity yeah, to get you I hold you down in the street. And he's using you to hold him down, That's a basically. Fact. Let's shit, be real. Let's man. call it what it really right. was. So I'm like, all right, cool, nigga. But then it was the disrespect that was coming his way. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? When is you going to slap a nigga? When are you going to punch a nigga in the mouth? When are you going to do this shit? Yo, one time some nigga went on the internet and just violated the nigga. He was talking crazy. So I said, yo, what's this shit niggas talking about? He said, yo, this is the last conversation I had with him where I wasn't moving around with him after that no more. He said, yeah, I just sent son a fake email 
like, yo, I like your music. I see you an inspiring rapper. Yo, I got studio time for you. I'm like, where are he? Like, yeah, I just booked studio time. We gonna beat the shit out this nigga, whatever, whatever. He don't even know he coming to the studio to get his ass whooped. Mm. Shit never happened. Mm. You hear what I'm saying? I'm sitting there like, damn, nigga, like, you going hard with this lying shit. Like, I know nothing's gonna happen, but it is what it is. Mm. I'm like, Nigga, you been lying forever. Like, I, I ain't gonna sit here and act like I ain't know you be lying. Like, mm-hmm. yo, fuck it. But after that, I'm like, yo, you know what, man? You ain't gonna have niggas carry you like that when I'm around. So, whatever. But I never put it out there. I so, just, so you think that's what he, like, because that's, that's like a crazy thing for him to just do that. Just nah, but he also felt the way about the Prince situation. Uh. He felt the way behind me and Prince's relationship. You feel me? And then at that time, I think he put out Locomotive 3 and that shit flopped. Okay. He was in his feelings about that. That's what it was. You know, we had the big name features on it and this and that. Mm. With big name street features. Mm. And shit ain't do what he thought it was going to do. Like, you feel me? This is something he verbally said to me before. Like, yo, I know round three flopped and this and that. But it is what it is. Get back in there. And work. And work, mm-hmm. nigga. Yeah. Like, you feel me? So it was what it was. But... I ain't tripping off of that. He know the phone conversation we had, and he know I kept with it, bro. Whatever he could, whatever anybody could tell him, nigga, I said to your ears over the phone, nigga. And if you wanted to meet up, nigga, we could have did that too. Because when you needed help on your block, nigga, you knew how to call me then. Mm. You feel me? You God knew how damn. to reach out to me then. When your grand did a record called Big Homie Dissing Son. Yeah. I didn't know about the record until Wink text me. Mm. He like, yo, this nigga, I'm mad I didn't bring that phone. Cause text conversations is still in that phone mm-hmm. he like yo this nigga just did a diss record I can tell you this conversation verbatim I'm like who he like ran I'm like yo homie I jumped out the window the last time for you said I can't do it this time because you gonna look pussy and I'm gonna look like a bully mm-hmm. I'm like so you got to handle that on your own I told him that straight up I like when you see Grant punch that nigga in his mouth which I knew he wasn't gonna do it Grant ain't gonna take that from him mm-hmm. Grant had no respect for son you feel me at all Mm-hmm. I give you one better. Y'all was in the club violating <laughs> Grand the night of your event. Verbally, we, we, Grand, we was Grand Grand wasn't there. We yeah. talking about, oh, the time when we had yeah, the yeah. situation. Oh, okay, now, okay. I'm going to show you how much we <laughs> keep it in the buck with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grand found out what went on in the club that night from mm-hmm. me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I called Grand the next day. I'm yeah. like, yeah, homie, you about to see some footage niggas <laughs> violating you. Yeah, we was wild that he night. Was you know, like, yeah. but it wasn't we was wild because at that time, yeah, you know, it was at that time a lot was going like, on. There was, a, there was a lot of different yeah, other, it was yeah, like a little, was a lot a little going political on, so. stuff in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, but, look how crazy that night ended up yeah, anyway. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's how you know that night was a so, wild night. Nah, but that's just me keeping it a buck with you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I called them. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, I'm like, you're going to see some stuff from this show that you made this all in the footage. I'm like, word. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, Nigga, you need to go handle them niggas. <laughs> like, and I left it at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you feel me? And at that time, we was, at that time, we was doing things together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the TV, the, yeah, the, the web series the going TV, and everything. Yeah. So, I'm sitting there like, all right, too much is going on. Everybody tripping on each other. So, let me focus on VIP. Yeah, she was a little wild at that time. I ain't going to lie. Because I think um, maybe uh, too many egos is up. Yeah, that's and what it really is. We I mean, probably was just like we was just. I think we was just touching the 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 clout, and the yeah. Like, dude, I mean, this was be, before clout. Like it's so. not. It's not just y'all. It was everybody. Yeah. Everybody ego tripped. No, that's what I'm saying. That's what was happening to us yeah, because we wasn't was used on. to it. Like, like we wasn't was, really used to what was, go, what was happening at yeah, the time. The, the shit was. We all thinking everything is is so big. Yeah, like, I mean, at that time, bubbling. ten thousand views. You like, oh, I'm yeah. You know what I'm that's saying? A fact. Like, that's how crazy it is. So you know so, you you yeah, you trying to protect lie. your image. Everybody's reading this 48 Laws of Power. Hey, Everybody's was, just losing it. It was what it was. And mm-hmm. You feel me? And, and dudes got past that. Yeah, yeah. You feel mm-hmm. me? So it was like, all right, it was a moment. Come on. It, it was moments before that when we talking mm-hmm. gangbang times that was way worse than that. Yeah, yeah, no, facts, facts, facts. It was really tripping. Cause that's how come I, I that's, like I said, that's how come cause not for nothing, like um fast forward, cause I'm not gonna lie, um, I didn't tell everybody I was doing this video, but there's certain people that's close to me, I told them. And they wanted me to ask you certain questions like, um, because they're kind of like the younger generation. They're like, yo, um, like when people kind of said, because that's what I'm saying, that's how an effect that situation had. Certain people said when they found out that you allegedly gave it up mm-hmm. in the VIA, a lot of them dudes went and became folks. Nah, that's not true. Is that true? When I was away, see, v- Vanderveer split up into, like, Vanderveer split up into courtyards, like I just said. Uh-huh. Now, you got the courtyard that's known as the upset that's behind my courtyard. Uh-huh. Now, 
all them little dudes up there, the younger generation who we knew in diapers and this and that, mm. they went to school with people from the other side. They mm-hmm. was hanging out all the time on the other side. So they fell into that, but they live in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. So when that whole folks shit started, I was away for that in the feds. Okay, okay. You okay. see that whole issue with them and you, if you want to say GD and fit, mm-hmm. that shit started in there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying because like a lot of saying? people try to say like that's where the, a lot of the... Uh, nah, like, that's not true. The, yeah. Honestly, a lot of them, a lot of the young kids, a lot of the younger ones that we had years of, mm. ahead of, they was already on that type of time. They was chilling with niggas in that was fair. Okay. You feel me? They was, they was already fucking around with niggas. So mm. certain shit you can't prevent. You get what I'm saying? And a lot of things took place when I in 08 when I wasn't around. Because mm-hmm. had I been around, it wouldn't have went on like that probably would never even transpire to be what it turned into at that mm-hmm. time you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying so a lot of the young ones nigga, i'm not around nigga. so mm-hmm. how can i take fed when in 2008 nigga, i'm in raybrook mm. i'm in a fed i'm in a fed yard you yeah, know what i'm saying because a lot of people like, because the because the, the people that ask me that are kind of like probably like the guys that like they grew up under you basically they're like yo man dude bt used to have his uh, uh, whatever I'm like yo But they're like yo man Cause they, to them They're saying like A lot of the, the Their peers is like Oh man son Giving it up So nah it's a, a few of them Turn folk Like they nah, switch sides not, You that's, think that's, it has an not effect true. But a lot of them Honestly After whatever was going on mm-hmm. I can't speak to the effect Cause I wasn't around Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on top of that When I touched I had the P.O. from hell, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fool pulled out a map and circled the bus. Mm-hmm. Then I could go anywhere in this circle. Where you can't go. Or you gone. Oh, uh, okay, okay, So you okay. feel me? So that's when I'm like, all right, let me focus back on getting my bread back up. Mm-hmm. You, know? you need bread to fund shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So these niggas that be asking for handouts and all this shit, mm-hmm. man, you better get your bread up, man. <laughs> yeah. Nah, no like, funny nah. shit, man. But it could have. It could have. So whoever, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I know... Dudes would be fronting if they tell you mm. that whole courtyard behind my courtyard in there, mm. it always had votes on it. But they was babies. Okay. It's not people our age. You feel me? Mm. These are kids we got eight to ten years ahead of. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel me? Because they oh they went wherever they went to school with and whatever they chilled, they chilled with them. Okay. But they kept that shit in that courtyard. It spread it out heavy now. Why? Because I ain't there. Mm-hmm. Come on, nigga. Let's call it what it is. That's crazy, man. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Like, yo, son, no funny shit, man. This interview was really needed for the culture, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, man. I was taking my time with it because it was certain restrictions I had on me where I couldn't do something. Yeah, no, I understand that completely. But this, I I think this. my phone down. And not only that, people was talking crazy. Not many people on Mm -hmm. my line behind the scenes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, bro, I ain't never jacked to your bro. That people that even jacked it that mm-hmm, don't mm-hmm. know, I know. That's it. another thing I wanted to ask like, you, right? You feel me? This is what I wanted to ask you. As far as like, um, like you sitting there, you and your peoples just sitting there, y'all looking at this. Like, how the, how y'all felt at that time, son? Huh? What you mean? Like, like how's the pressure? Like you sitting no, there, you got insane, it, it, yeah, yeah, you know you didn't give it up, but it's going crazy. And nah, you, I mean, at, at, it, 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 not to cut you off, it, it touches you mm-hmm. because me being me, it's not how I give it up. Mm-hmm. But one thing I couldn't do, mm-hmm. I wasn't in a position to defend it, and I wasn't gonna let that shit eat me alive. Okay. I'm like, yo, do y'all? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You feel me? Do y'all? Because don't complain when I ain't got a chill button. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Take that shit, you know. Ah, Don't complain. Damn, son. Just <laughs> all right. My turn. All right. Like you feel me? That's what. That's what it is. Dudes know that shit. It's the kick him when he down effect. Or oh, word, niggas are saying, nigga. That's like when the All Star game was in Barclay Center. You had niggas that never left the porch before putting shit up on the ground. Oh, it's time for niggas to check in. Check in with who? <laughs> not you. Nah, nah, fact, what the fuck fact. did you tell the niggas check in for? You can't even leave your own block. So it, it's it's that effect. It's the oh shit. And everybody could just say anybody something. could just do whatever yeah. because Instagram gave suckers a platform. Niggas stand behind a phone and yeah. do whatever. Nigga like fuck People that. Nigga. Nobody got that energy yeah, in person. Yeah, yeah. niggas like 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 come on, nigga. You ain't that you you. Niggas know where I've been jailing. You ain't never heard me getting ran out of no cribs. You never heard me on no PC wave. You heard Wink was in PC. This is why I said when we run into each other, it'd be whatever. Like, boy, you know what it is, nigga. Let's be real. That's why I don't even want to make this interview about him, but I knew his name was going to come up. 
No, you because I mean? you, in reality, you want me to tell you the truth, though? I just, like, the funny thing about the whole interview thing is sometimes you don't even know where your questions lead yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I really just asked that about the rapid thing. I didn't even, I didn't even know it led that deep into... Yeah, that's a fact. See? The, you see what I'm saying? Nobody like, I knew that. I didn't know it came... That whole situation just really just Yo, came from that. Yo, there's one person that knew what was going on with me. I mean, yo, Prince didn't even know. My little man, E. Mac, he knew. And, you know, he a loyal little nigga. He just kept it to himself. He's like, it's none of his business. But he knew mm -hmm. because he was around me for certain shit. Mm -hmm. That's why I went. That's why he's one of a few who could have answered questions for people. Like, nah, boy did that because this. That, not only that. Hold up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sucker Free West uh -huh. and Do Man. Do Man used to run around with Push Montana. Yeah. We all went to Perfections for Wing Birthday. We met up. We met up. I think we met up. Maybe because I think we met about the Barclays or it might have been somewhere else. I flipped on Wayne, but I ain't know Do Man and Sucker Free West was behind me. Wayne didn't even know. Mm -hmm. They was in the where they were standing at. It mm -hmm. was like a little wall, a cut. Mm -hmm. We outside, mm -hmm. but where they were standing at, neither one of us knew. So they witnessed that whole shit. Mm -hmm. They witnessed me belittle that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? That's a fact. And then we ended up in perfections with Jeezy and whatever went on that night. But right there and then, I just had to check the nigga on shit that was Even going that on. night was kind of like a little controversial in the hood too, because I could remember a lot of people saying like they was not jacking what happened that night. I don't know exactly. Nah, see, you talking about the first night. Mm. What, the Jeezy night? Yeah, yeah it was yeah. two Jeezy nights. Okay. You talking about the first one. I know you talking about with Ran and yeah, them, yeah, I'm wait, not he... talking about that. Now. I'm All talking right. about for Wink's birthday. Okay. When we was in perfections with Jeezy. That's why, you know I mean? but like but I said, while we was going there, we met up somewhere, and I flipped on the nigga. Okay, so only two people that knew the inner, dude, man, the to say yo, and you know, dude, man, he a little mixy. Mm. He told a few people mm. like yo, boy, mm, went well, ham well. on something. Like you feel me, like damn. So that's why, like I said, I I was just asking that question based on the music. I was gonna talk about that other stuff separately because I literally didn't know that the two and two nah, coincided it'll, it'll, at the end. Like he was gonna address the situation, then he gonna address. Yeah, you know, I didn't why, know yeah, that. Yeah, you see, yeah, I'm dead yeah. ass. Like I was just going down the line. I know, that, I know yeah, the cuz, cuz, cuz. It's it's just like you said. Like, I'm human, like the next thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm, this shit was bothering me. But what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I'm sitting in the can. Yeah, yeah, What am yeah. I doing? There's nothing I could do. You gotta worry about your situation at hand at the moment. Nah, if I was really on some bullshit, I'd have turned around and beat the shit out of Wing Brother because he was sitting in the same jail as me. Wow. Mm. Real shit. But he and his brother got whatever going on and this and that, so I wouldn't have got no satisfaction for that. Mm -hmm. He would have probably heard that shit and be like, you're good for that nigga. Fuck that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't have bothered him. Yeah. You feel me? But it was in the spot with me. Mm. You feel me? So it was, it was like, all right, nigga. Because he even tuck. said, he I'm talking shit. about, but we'll stick to what we yeah, know for a fact. And with the paperwork in the court, man, it's basically when you got on the on the stand, like the whole stand thing is there, and it doesn't really show you. Um, nah, that's not the stand minutes. That's not the that's not the minutes for the stand. That's the that's the minutes from they try to push a Brady violation. If on hold on, no, I'm not. I'm not talking about this one. I'm not oh, talking oh, about. Oh, I'm oh, talking oh, about okay. the paper paperwork, the, oh, the 27 oh, yeah, yeah. page. Yeah, that's that's the minutes, right? Nah, that's that's, that's just the that's whole bullshit. trap. Yeah, that's, that's the bullshit. whole shit. But they got you when you on, they asking you and the stuff nah, like it that. It says it says what I yeah, spoke yeah, yeah. to. So that's what I'm yeah. saying. So I mean, you can't like I said, it's black and white. Y'all could go find this anywhere. It's um, we can get the name. But see, it didn't stop there because we cut short. Yeah, you see, it also say defendants knew that not another member of the G Stone Cribs. I read that drove the lead car. No, that's so. the that's the other one. I was talking about the 27 page one. Oh, nah, this is a part of that. It's in there too. Okay, okay, you just giving me the clippings. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Then it also say defendants knew that Grant was dating his sister, establishing a connection between Grant and, and. You didn't give that information up to come us. On, yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> you didn't give that. I don't I have know to. That. I don't have to. Look. Just, it's all do, in there. Just by the word, and you come know, on. you didn't give. So it's all in there. I don't even feel you can read. You can read, read. You can read the rest for yourself. You feel me? Defendant would defendant told this us. This is where they try to bring up the, the rap video, right? Yeah, he tried to pull he tried to pull a video up because he told him he like nah, 
son did that. He admitted it in a song, in this song, and this and that. I ain't gonna lie to you, you know. And you I you used it in the references. I referenced in it in the song. Like, I didn't reference the hit. On I some referenced son name. On some artist. Yeah, yeah. Basically. I referenced son name because I flipped the whole Meek Mill lean with his shit. Mm -hmm. You know, I was doing the three mixes where I grab a nigga record, but to pay homage to them, I semi used they flow while I flipped the record. Mm -hmm. So I made reference to that shit. Mm -hmm. And he ran with that and then just tried to paint a whole picture of this, that, and the third. My thing is, I'm, I want to go back to, nigga, if I'm giving it up, only two days with the jail. Nah, that's a fact. If man. I'm telling all this, I fuck I ain't at this trial. Nah. Why not? Who better? Let's be real. Let's be real, girl. You know that. Who nah, better? I know, I know. Cause like, that's what I'm saying. Cause Who better to speak about? That's child? what I, that's what, there, there was so many rumors out. Like, it's like, yo, so it's like, they were saying so many stuff, but like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a nah, reader. because you know what it is? I was asked, yo, how did I come across Crip? And I said, Biz introduced me to it. Mm -hmm. Now, watch this. In our complaint, when me and Biz was co-defendants on that one time, in that complaint is an article that Biz did in the Village Voice, mm -hmm. openly admitting that he was such and such. From like 93 mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's a fact. fact. It's, that's and a you fact. talk about it came yeah. from Cali. You feel mm -hmm. me? So he said that that, that article was mm -hmm. in our complaint. Mm -hmm. I can't hurt you saying something you said. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And nobody got charged from anything I said. Uh-huh, uh -huh. Why is that? tell dude the... Like... He, he got all of them. He could read. I'm just... Nah, that's probably like... He probably got straight to it. Like... When he go, when he go and visit something, yeah, then he starts trying to make himself look like a tough guy to do. Talk. He even talked about he was going to have his co defendant yeah, yeah. clip. Yeah, I seen that. He's saying like if they didn't take care of it, yeah. he would have had to like take care of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, okay. nigga, you, go, you tell it this nigga, you going to get your back. Like, and it goes on Twitter bragging. Yeah, because, man, listen, man. Yeah, so he was doing a lot of wild shit anyway. It, it is what it is. Six like, 27. Like, niggas got his tweets. I mean, like I said, man, you know, like, you know already, man. Me doing this interview is already gonna be yeah, heat I, for me. I, yeah. But guys of the city, we have to roll with the facts. You know what I'm saying in the in the black and white is facts. Like you know what I mean, I know what y'all be making up. I just did the Mags B Jaw, and I see a lot of people be trying to act like they don't see things because they have like a certain love for somebody's music. But facts in black and white, you can This is and not saying that. that you just make up. You can as soon as you Google this. As soon as you Google this, it comes yeah, up. I'm gonna let them finish. So I'm the, just gonna the, the I'm just, I'm just gonna talk to them so they understand. Like you feel hmm? me? Yeah, and, uh, once you Google Krill Gates, it's gonna pull up right up, man. So I'll like, try to put up as much paperwork for y'all too, whatever, whatever, for the interview. Like people, that's it's, what, it's, what you were saying, though. It's, no? it's, it's the pick and choose thing, motherfucker. Look at me, you ain't the first two looking at this. I said the room ain't the first ones to see this. Mm -hmm. A lot of people was like, yo, nigga, we can't go. Yo, yo, chill, don't. Like, you say, don't I'm say not gonna lie. I got a few ancient homies that I'm about to hit situation. up as soon as I leave here. Like dogs, you been putting up a lot I kinda, of. I didn't see I don't this fully one. Agree with it, yeah. so I really don't want to speak to it. I don't fully agree with that. He told. Yeah, I don't fully agree with that. Mm. He just spoke when he wasn't supposed. I look to at that whole shit for something totally different. Yeah. My thing is this. You see, I really don't want to speak on it because I don't want to shoot y'all. Yeah, it doesn't. No, it's the the facts is the facts. Opinion matters, cut. I don't agree with that because niggas been down for like 10, 12 years. Why this shit now coming up? Mm. You feel me? You been down for 12 years, homie. Facts. You got all this paperwork. It should have been out there. And then you mean to tell me when Max and Jim Jones beef was at its height, mm. Jim wouldn't have got his hands on paperwork? And he said he been sent it And his Jim defense, Trump. though, he's trying to say that he been sending it out. Okay, and dudes okay. was doing exactly like how you like you know what I'm saying? Oh, see, I ain't I, I yeah, don't know. They, they was put, throwing it under They're the basically th throwing it under the rug. Like he uh, doesn't know if it's cause of the money situation, but he said he sent it to Jim, he sent it to There's a lot of shaky shit with that shit too, because yeah. you know I mean I, I, I that's yeah, the, that's, that's the story, that's the story. I'm not gonna yeah, they got a, I'm they not gonna argue with And ain't they related? That, that yeah, yeah they're basically that, related, that so. was in there with him. That's but at job. the same time you can't say like yo, you know what I mean, certain shit. You, you saying it was kind of shaky, so you can't really just take it and run. Nah, it. Yeah, but nah, you know what? Then, but we we in the we in that we in those times right now where motherfuckers are just do anything for some a, nigga attention. Take a half truth and just shoot with yeah, that. Yeah, but shit. that's why I made sure that he even sent me the paperwork. Just like yeah, when I, I spoke to y'all, you see, before we even did the interview, y'all sent me this piece before. I'm like, yo, let me get the whole thing just to make sure I have it, so I don't feel like you know I don't. Yeah, I'm not, not definitely too familiar it was, with everything. It was, it was on. Like I said, when we spoke, when I first touched, I'm mm -hmm. like, 
I holler at everybody when I holler at them, like because I can't do certain shit right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One thing I I tell dudes all the time, I ain't with that violation shit. Mm-hmm. I made parole, probation, whatever niggas yeah. stayed in the town. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't yeah. with the going back. You know me and it taught me a lot of patience too. But I was like, all right, cool. But it was like niggas saw that work, my nigga. You feel me? Crave can't say he didn't see that work. He saw, but you know what it is. Dudes be having their own little. They huddle conversations and it's yo, yo, but don't say nothing, yo. But but you know, boy was from our side, so oh, leave that alone. Thing. Yeah, that's the main thing. That's how it goes. Mm. Leave that alone, boy. You feel you me? Trying to say because dudes be from their side, so they try to hold. Man, it I mean, down. that shit, be, that shit been going. That shit been going on, especially with different terms. And I don't. No, I know it happens terms. like that with different yeah. terms, but you pointed it out yeah, why maybe they didn't try to put yeah, it out there like nah, that. You know, boy from our side, yo, yo, man, fuck them bad niggas. Yo, they, like, that's that's all that happened. Like, you feel me? But real shit, man. It, 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 it is what it is. Yo, you know this interview gonna shake the town, though, son. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it is what it is. It's like, like yo, son, like, he listening to this truth right here, I never even, like, even when I was doing the interview, I'm like, nah, I know this probably gonna still, because you know how we do interviews sometimes, we yeah. be like, ah, you know, we probably still, yo, dog, I really don't see no no holes in the story right now, because I'm, I'm, like, for yeah, I'm gonna keep I it have, above with you. I've been telling everybody the same shit over the phone, a few people I spoke to, mm-hmm. verbatim what I'm telling you now. Mm. And my shit ain't never switched up. Mm. I, I was there for the whole thing. Mm. I don't care what you heard when they went to trial. I was there from when my cuffs went on. Mm. Me and them niggas was never co-defendants. Mm. I wasn't on any case with them. I was on a pistol charge. The young boy bought from CA, I ate his charge. Mm-hmm. Me. You feel me? He seen the inside of a courtroom one time. I mean, he up north now for something totally different, mm-hmm. but he ain't up north for that pistol. Mm. You feel me? We both got knocked that night with grips. We both went through. I could have been bailed out. I didn't bail out until his situation was straight and we walked out together. Like, you feel me? So the fact, the fact, facts is facts. And I'm gonna go back to what I told you. Nigga, I know real secrets, homie. Like, <laughs> streets would be empty. Nah, it's facts, man. Like, real talk. Niggas, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't play those games. I don't care what you, oh, yo, son, son, down the Nigga, you trying to pin a murder on me that I got nothing to do with. Don't know about it, nothing. I'm supposed to just take that shit. Oh, nah, you know why? I was supposed to be like, nah, I'm a real nigga. Man, fuck that. Mm-hmm. I go, I, I eat that shit. He putting a murder on me that I ain't do, but fuck it, I'm a real nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right, nigga. Yeah, all right. We could, go both, we, could, we, could, we could both go behind the wall and sit down, nigga, and see what make it up out of that. Because I've been there already, you haven't. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So. It is what it is. And basically, once you copped out to your charge, you was basically out, out yeah. of the situation. It was like, nigga, once I, I was like, all right, nigga, you still going hard on this shit, trying to paint this picture for these people? Mm. All right, nigga, I'm going to throw myself under the bus, nigga. Because mm. your man throwing you under the bus. You feel me? I don't know that nigga that was telling on him. Never met him. Never been around him. Never nothing. Mm. You feel me? Straight like that. So he got, you got one nigga telling... And, um, telling the boys a bunch of shit about you. Whatever he was telling them, no, he didn't tell them nothing about me. I guess I'm pretty sure my name came up yeah. with them. He can't give them nothing. He can only give them what Squinzy told him about. Me. Yeah, no, I'm saying Squinzy saying a bunch of shit about you, and this nigga can't really say anything about yeah, you. Yeah, he can't say nothing so about because he don't know. When the cops come me. to that nigga and go to, squ- it's it, basically yeah, it they don't add up. Co- add up you feel me? Shit, it don't facts. add up. And then this nigga's giving them accurate shit yeah. of what happened. Mm-hmm. Like nigga. Allegedly, I guess he was dead, nigga, because I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, but you want to keep playing this me. Nigga, I don't know these niggas. I don't know them, nigga, but you're trying to push a line. Oh, nah, he was fucking with son's sister, you know, that's why he heavy with the stones. You got the stones to do it. Read the work. One of the pages, he even told them that me and Biz had a fallout because I pushed the murder in Biz without Biz's permission. Yeah, I read that. <laughs> like, come on, man. See, you reading it for yourself. Yeah. That's why I was so calm this whole time, my nigga. You feel me? That's why. It is what it is. That's wild, bro. Right. So now basically that you basically back out and you get your start. I'm pretty sure after you drop this comes out, everybody's going to be trying to hit you up. Like, yo, they want to. I mean, dudes been hitting me up left and right. Been hitting me up for anything. No, I, I know that. Dudes, I, I know that. Going. But I'm what I'm right. saying is, once this drop, you know they gonna be like, "Dog, you gotta, you gotta." I mean, lay it is what it depending on what you gotta tell the people though. So I like, I want like what you gotta tell the people. Like you back, you back on your music joint. What's going I mean, on? I got a lot going on right now. I had to get, I had to get myself straight first. 
You feel me? Because while all this shit was going on, I had to see things for what it was and I had to see people for who they was. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And I learned a lot as far as, all right, I guess you don't need me right now because I ain't around. So you can entertain something. Mm-hmm. But you wasn't entertaining shit. We're talking about people in general. Mm-hmm. Well, fuckers wasn't entertaining shit when niggas was calling me to say they lives. Yeah, yeah, niggas yeah. Niggas wasn't yeah. calling when niggas need niggas to go out with them or hold them down. And I'm at that part, I'm not subbing, break or whatever. I'm talking general. General, yeah. You feel me? Niggas don't, niggas don't, niggas wasn't pumping shit when they stuck on the corners at a Flatbush Fair and they got to stand by police because it's 30 fucking GD niggas from Ebbets Field got them cornered and mm. niggas stand by police. Mm. They call me, yo, yo, and I got to send somebody to go get them because mm. I'm not in the area. You feel me? Mm. Niggas wasn't talking crazy then in them times. You feel me? But everybody flip. It is what it is. That's what goes on nowadays. I ain't miss a beat, nigga. I came home, you niggas are still doing the same shit y'all niggas is doing. Let's be real. I look like I'm starving, nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> like nah, niggas are doing the same shit. That makes sense, though, man, because I guess you got time to see the clarity. Maybe sometimes, you know, everything happens for a reason. Maybe you needed that pause. Well, nah, definitely. Be, because you never know where I, it would probably I, I, end I, up. I was proud of myself for not jumping out the window what, crazy. What, what, what should be... um. What people should take from it is like, like you said, put your type your name in on Google, right? I mean, these and are Google Krill Gates, Krill Gates, Gates right? But when you put Krill Gates, it's not no paperwork of you telling no nobody comes up. It's somebody paperwork saying that you said something that comes up. Because so, I mean, paperwork yeah, so every, just be, all the time. So niggas be capping so on the streets. Should be niggas, like a movie. Yeah, to me. niggas just and need I read to. The paperwork. Yeah, I, man, I got so a few more pages to go, day, but man, I gotta stop pushing like, bullshit, like, man. Nah, but it is what it is. Yeah, I do you your homework is. first, man. That's what I'm gonna say to people, especially people out there. If you pushing a line and, and know because the the census killing is getting crazy nowadays. It's getting crazy about the day. Mm-hmm. Yo, but to those of y'all that's pushing a line and y'all calling yourselves being on this type of time and that type of time. Yo, know who around you. You can go decades with motherfuckers that never had your best interests at heart. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You just got to slip through the cracks that, that whole, that whole yeah, decade. Yeah, and it's, facts. they're benefiting from the friendship. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They benefit from, they can go to this hood now because I took you over there. Now when you run into people from that hood outside of both of y'all hood. Yeah. You know about y'all yourself. Hitting it up yeah. That I man. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, that's such and such. I walked there, niggas through mad trip hugs. Up the hill all over. You want to you be technical, mm-hmm. let's be real about it. You feel me? And it, it is what it is. Just watch the motherfuckers around you. Just know who really for you. You, you. you get what I'm saying? Because everybody got their own agendas. I tell people this all the time, yo. If I, if I come outside to my man, I go to give you a pound, nigga. And the first thing he do is look me up and down just to see what I'm wearing or what I got on. It's something more there. Mm. Like that's the person you need to watch. Because if I fuck with you like that, nigga, I don't care what yeah, you wear. Exactly. Like, I don't care what cars you, and I don't care about nothing. Mm. So you feel me? So it, it is what it is. Or the the, the I, I was sitting back watching it like yo go ahead. I'm just not in a position to do anything mm. when when it was that moment. Let me before we leave off type stuff. Like during the whole time, you had like any of the like the big homeboys reach out to you like and chop spoke, it up with I you. I spoke to a lot of people. I spoke to a lot of homeboys from the and they basically to the I know I, we don't have to say their name, but I know if they do know, they probably told you to take your time before. Oh no, nah, I'm happy. Make and, sure and, you get and, off your and, papers and, and stuff and, like that. And one person in particular, um. Shout out to Unk, he know who he is. Uh-huh. And he was the one. He was the one who talked to me off the ledge. He was like, yo, take your time. It's like, get back on your feet. Uh-huh. Get your money right. He's like, get your get your home situation right first. And then you could address whatever. He was like, but make sure you and yours. You good. good. Yeah. And it, was like, and it made sense. And I'm like, I was like, all right, you know what? Be right. And I took it for what it was. So let me go get this bread back up. Let me, let me put myself in position to, you know, fund whatever. Mm. Or whatever nigga want to do. Yeah, man. So, um, I mean, uh, not for nothing because you mentioned about the people around you when you push the line. Do you think that's also the reason why probably people try to run with it, even if they knew it wasn't true? Because you know, sometimes like there's like a struggle for power that comes. But no, that's with a fact. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying. saying? Yeah, I mean, so if you're talking to about push you out the way and to probably to be the the top dogs. Do you feel like stuff like that? Even if they know. Bees. 
Yeah, that's a fact. You feel me? The worst nigga you can have standing next to you is the nigga that want to be you. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, man. Well said. That's a deep. That's that's a lot in the day, man. Word, right, man. I think that's how we got ended yeah. right there, man. <laughs> hey, that's a lot. Yo, of man. The day, um, right anything else you want to tell people before we dip? I mean, I'm here. We got a lot of things going on. You know, my pen been going off since I've been home, so. A lot mm -hmm. of people don't even know they actually been listening you got to music, music coming. The you got some time. new music coming for the people? I've been doing some writing for other people. Right, oh, so okay, sorry. okay. Me, so he's done heard my music already. Oh, okay, okay. It is what it is. But you know, there's a, a unwritten law in the game that you, you know you ain't supposed to be blowing people up who you. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, so yeah. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. But we going to hear something from Crow Gates, though. Maybe yeah, something definitely. addressing definitely. letting the people know you back but, out here. Yeah, definitely. And you know, those that wanted to play the rap games. Mm hmm. We see what's up. Dudes know I know my way around the studio. Okay. You know how to listen to a beat. <laughs> Put <laughs> shit together. Me? You put it together? Yeah. Like, nah, but yo, dogs, I want to thank you for coming down, man. This is huge, dog. This is going to be huge, huge news for the hood. Uh, I think Brooklyn needed this because I felt like even when the rumors is out, a lot of people was kind of disappointed e even hearing that news. Man, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's so fact. I think this is going to make them feel like what they probably figured out was the truth probably like you know clarify yeah, for that, them that's a fact and, and you know and to those that kept it tall you know salute it, that's it, what's it, up. it is what it is and to the best keep the same energy man that's what's up man all right man you already know what it is man it's your boy kill so frosty i'm here with my dog flight school pre and who we got in the you building no it's the boy crow gates vmg guys of the city we out get ready for this one dog